Well, hello there, and welcome to Hermitcraft Season 9, Episode 1. And if you are as excited as I am for the brand new season, hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed. And as you can see, we are still falling through the world in between seasons, aka the void, because we jumped into the void to save ourselves from the moon crashing into Hermitcraft Season 8. And we have been falling ever since into our brand new world, which for our starter base, we are going to create an elven kingdom. We're going to live amongst the trees and hand out cookies. And once we've completed that, we're going to pivot to something completely different. And that is my dream Minecraft build. And I have a question for you. Can you guess what my dream Minecraft build is in the comments? Let me know. Tell me your guess, which I'm very curious to know if you guys can guess, because it's something I've wanted to build since 2000. Ow. 10. That was a lot of momentum. That's two months of momentum of falling there right into that stone. But let's spawn into the world. And boy, this gets me excited, man. We're we're ready to go here. This just needs hermits. I think we got here a little bit early. We're fashionably early. Ah, there they are. Well, hello there, hermits. Wow, I'm inside one. <laughs> oh, it is so good to see all these beautiful hermit faces after so long. But you might be wondering if there's anything about this world that's different. Well, none of us have seen it. We wanted to go into this world completely unknown. So we had somebody else select the world for us so we can enjoy the exploration, the new caves and the mountains and all of that fresh so just seeing this all with like fresh eyes is absolutely amazing. We're also going to build a starter base wherever the spawn is. So this is absolutely perfect. Can you envision all the incredible hermit bases surrounding what is this lake? Oh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. With that, let's go find ourselves a home. It seems like it would be a mistake. Hello, Scar. Hello, kids. Come join Team Loser. Oh, this is a Team Wait. Loser team? Well, yeah. no, she only just said it. She, uh, that was never the team name, Scar, actually. Are we not, are we not agreeing with that? Are you, are you a matador? I am point? a beautiful, luscious elf. Oh. oh. Luscious. I was, I, an elf, a zombie, and a human walk into a bar. Like, there's got to be, like, some, <laughs> form of, some form of joke that can formulate. <sighs> Do you need anything, dude? Are you, like, have you punched a single tree yet, or have you just been wandering around? I, I tapped you, you a tree. Make it sound like we, you make <laughs> it sound like say. we've done anything. We've not, we've not done anything. Yeah, what, is there a secret base under here? I almost Did died. I, that feel? I almost <laughs> Did died. You? Wait, can I kill you? Because like, I can totally kill things now, and you haven't done much yet. Kill me. Just don't touch my hair. Yes! <laughs> yes. I can't believe it. I require a fish for that. I require food for that. <laughs> one fish. Well, just one the one fish. fish. So what? Like, what is everyone's plans? Is there is there any plan? And 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 Scar, your plan was what? Did you just? Oh, say? I'm gonna just live in a tree. tree. I'm a tree elf. I that mean, makes the most sense, actually. You can't get a lot of bulls in a tree. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of but what? But you do have a nice cape. You're a well, matador. You're a matador. Oh, okay. This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Explain this to me like a five year old. What is a right. a mat? A mat mattress store? Oh, um, a mattress oh, store. Oh, okay. Yep. You said it perfectly, so nice. At least you've got the word right. Well, yeah. thank it'd you. It would be horrible okay. if you got the word wrong. Wait, wait, um, wait. It's not a mattress store? <laughs> it is a mattress store, yes. It is a mattress yes. store. You've got the name perfectly correct. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. Yeah. And a mattress store is... Well, it is okay. what it sounds like. I feel like that's really not a mattress store. <laughs> right, okay. Sorry, I was joking. I was joking a little bit. Green, what is a master door? <laughs> A what? A master door? <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh, did somebody ask for a master door? Oh, I filled oh, you a well, master door. <laughs> no, they said that I look like a, a master something or other, and I know I'm mispronouncing it, and they're, they're playing Mastodon? games with me. Clear, clear. A it was a mastodon. It was a mastodon. He didn't. Oh, yeah, you're he looks correct. Like... You're correct. That's yep. exactly what we said. Does that look that scary down there? Is. Oh, oh yes, gosh dang it! <laughs> <laughs> How do guys? How do I make it in hardcore Scar. fifty hours without dying, and I can't even make it five <laughs> seconds now? We need to get you to a mattress store so you can get a bed, dude. No, dude. What is a master door? <laughs> it's a a matador. Is the you know the guy who like swings a the matador? Red that's what you would. Okay. <laughs> it's the, it's the guy All with you the said was it was he a guy with something. He does look like a matador. Something. But what right? is it? I'm I so said. freaking confused. <laughs> the guy, the guy with the the, the red carpet, right? Thank you for all the guy. I appreciate it. Yeah. And then and then and then the bull comes flying past, 
And then he kills the bull. It's a bit. Basically, you're going to fight a lot of ravages. Oh, the guy with the red thing? And he's like, yeah. And then the bull runs and he goes, woo, and it whoops. Oh. There's been 10 minutes. That's a deep cut. 10 minutes. It's a bit of a deep cut. I must Mumbo, no, you can't get you can't get ahead of me like that with with coal. What do you what do you mean? I'm gathering coal. What is <laughs> you do realize that I've, I I can kill things this season, bud, and we're in a small hole together. Ooh, an That's what she said. <laughs> Scar. <Scott! laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know how many times I've died to the new bottom hole 2.0? <laughs> yeah. Four times? No! <laughs> That's how I survived. Where's my tools? Oh, they're down there. You, deep, can, you can go and get you went them. quite deep. We're going to have to They're just down no! there. Together. Oh my god. Jeez. Star, are you... What's going on with you? They keep throwing me in the hole. It's the bottom hole 2.0. <laughs> it's because I made it. That's what she said joke and they threw me in. I mean, yeah, that's deserved. That's it's probably, deserved. you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm always right. Here he comes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I hope he does again. If he does again. Okay. Is there any right. chance of all my tools being alive? Ah. I've used all of my all of my food just jumping around in this hole, trying in various ways to kill Scar. This does not seem like a very efficient way to start. Oh, oh my gosh, I, did you I, see I know that? I was coming that way. What? No, no! Oh my god. Oh, Joe, can I have some of these? They, I've died so yeah. many times and lost so many of my things. Scar, that's oh, what this, this chest is, is this for. Is it's his... Hermit's Helping Hermit's Community Tools. Oh, Drop thank off you. extra stuff that you get later. Take stuff you need now. Oh, and I, I love the, the handlebar mustache. Very wonderful. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, murder back. you. <laughs> Joe gave me tools. Army, Joe gave me tools. Oh, gosh. But no sword, I realized. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez! <laughs> You've got so how many? How many? Uh, how many deaths are we up now? Let's go and get some food, or we're never gonna get past this stage. Okay, we have two raw muttons. We'll share it between. Give us. me that mutton, no, Scott. Give me the mutton. Oh no, no, Scott. Give me the mutton. Give us the mutton. Give me the mutton. Give me the mutton. There's enough. For, there's there's enough. I don't know where to go. go. Dang it! That was my mutton. That was my mutton. Oh, that was my mutton. Yeah, Dude, Cleo, they stole my mutton yeah, now. Cool. They stole your. Since when did you have. Like, all I've got is kelp. Dude, I'm going to deplete this chest very quickly. I've, I've noticed. Well, I mean. Bring things back when you Dude, get Dude, I love the mustache, though. Joe. Thank you, Scar. You know what? I'm just going to get my own food. I'm going to get my own food the smart way. That's right. That's right. Hardcore taught me one thing, and that is the best way to get food. Is, oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. Is via. Fish. Right, I got three, three salmon, Michelin star dinners tonight. You ever been to one of those Michelin places? Yeah, the tire right? shop. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone through a lot uh, of like phases in life where I thought they were two separate things, the same thing. It turns out they're all the same it, thing: tires and the food. Yeah. I mean, this isn't oh. good content for for Hermitcraft, but yeah, it's it was like originally, <laughs> originally Michelin were a tire company, but they also did like travel guides, yeah, and then they started ah. rating restaurants on these like routes and such, and it became recognized brand. This is gonna be the opener to my <laughs> Hermitcraft season nine. <laughs> it's just gonna be you explaining how Michelin stars work. With this is this is this this, this is what's happened. Already in this, in this. Series. Is quite, it is quite remarkable how much, how much has gone on. Sorry it's the there. Michelin scar. <laughs> Michelin scar. It doesn't even make any sense, but it's quite funny. Scar, you should get in here as well because I wonder what it would be like if three people are trying to mine in a very to, similar to, spot. to swim into the hole. Oh, that's actually quite cool. Yeah, right. Wait, right? we're going into that cave. Yeah, but on boats in style, Mumbo. But we have no food, Scar. I have six salmon and Green stole the rest of mine. <laughs> and you've died seven times. I don't keep track of these types of things. Oh my it's gosh, I don't like that durability thing. Where did that and why is that a thing? Oh uh, yeah, <clears throat> you need to do trigger uh, duraping. And by wait for you, I mean continue to mine. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> this was a plan. This was a plan from the beginning. This was a plan from the beginning. This was a plan. <laughs> oh, no. 50 hours alone in hardcore. I think we're realizing where all of my deaths come from. Mm hmm. Shoot, I have no idea where they were. Somehow, I am going to MLG this all the way down.
I hear All right. It. You... Scar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only have three uh, hearts. I'd, I'd go for it, dude. I'd go for it. No, no he's not going to make it. No. <laughs> Okay, you made it somehow. Okay, Scott, don't oh. fall again. Right, here's some fish. Oh, thank you. I have two hearts. If we would have went down in boats, this? it would have been in style. Mm -hmm. How about this? Yeah. For you, buddy. Oh, you still have. You got my boat. <laughs> Take us on a ride, Let's Mumbo. Go. Let's go. Uh, what am I watching? G Green, don't you wish you had a boat? They have 8 million subscribers, <laughs> these two. <laughs> 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 well deserved subscribers, I think you'll find. Dude, people come bon for, 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 for Mumbo's rowing and, and my singing. Would you like me to sing, Mumbo? Please. I'd like a sea shanty, please. Oh. Hmm. Is that a difficult request? Um. Just. Uh, just um. <laughs> just two gentlemen in a boat dying. Oh, 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 no! oh, I was trying to think of my sea shanty. Why did I die? Why is he still alive? If he doesn't die, I'm going to be super mad. He died. Where is he? <laughs> if you wouldn't have died, Mumbo, I would have straight up raged quit. <laughs> I was just getting the she shanty out. I can't believe that. I didn't even notice the lava there. Did you see it? What do we do now? Well, I guess we've got to go and find Green, I suppose. What if we just go down there and kill him and then leave? Would that be accepted? It would be 100% accepted. Wait, wait, how do you want to kill him? Do you want to throw him in the lava? Do you want to punch him to death? What, he he might have a sword on him. I'm going to slap him with this fish. He's taken our iron and made oh. it into a plate. Start slapping him. Mumbo, get him. Slap hey, him. Slap him. What are you doing? Oh, slap whoa, him. Whoa, 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 he betrayed me for iron. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, I may have been betrayed, but that was kind of hilarious. All right, I've got some food. And I've got some tools. This time, I'm going to make it down there without dying. What is it tempting? <laughs> oh, 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 there they are. I was just about to go <laughs> back down. Now you guys are all decked out. There's no, no yeah. need to go mining now. We waited well, for you, and you didn't turn up. Well, I was getting yeah. food. Oh. That's you guys nice look spot. a little hungry, don't you? Feeling pretty peckish, actually, yep. Scar, do you actually need any iron stuff? I wouldn't mind an iron pickaxe. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the end of the <laughs> I world. An iron pickaxe. I might be, I might, I might be able to stretch an iron pickaxe. A half-used one, is that okay? A half-used I mean, pickaxe? it just fits the day. <laughs> it just goes along with everything. That very well might have been the least productive session of Minecraft ever, but it was an absolute blast hanging out with Mumbo and Gregan. But it's now time to find ourselves our starter base location. But we are very poor at the moment, and I found this land here that has been fairly underdeveloped, and I think we could build our elven kingdom in this spot here. Resource-wise, we are really struggling. I got some food from Joe, and yeah, we're gonna need a whole lot of iron to make our elven kingdom become a reality. Well, until we get our super hoe, that is. All right, we can't be poor anymore. It is now time to change that. I have uh, <laughs> I made a little patch of food. I've got some supplies here. It is time to go caving and hopefully come out with some real resources so we can get a bit more protected. It is a very good thing that we brought our boat. And I told those guys earlier, a boat is the best way now to explore our caves. <laughs> Oh man, this is a massive cave. I absolutely love exploring caves now. We've got a little bit of a problem here. I was doing some nice peaceful mining. Oh my gosh, they brought a sword to the fight. What in the world? That is unfair. You can't bring four zombies, a creeper, and a sword. No, I don't accept that. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this situation. I am a little bit worried as I was about to create a furnace to make some iron armor because bam we got 22 pieces of uh iron <laughs> if i die right here i very well might 
cry. One, two, three, we're out of here. <laughs> See you later, suckers. Okay, 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 I might be the sucker. Oh, I might be the sucker. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm the sucker. Oh my gosh, okay, we're safe. We're safe, okay. The sucker is safe. Huh. Well, we're in here. Nope, 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 now we're gonna drown. Well, I may have uh, made a mistake. I also look like a villager. <laughs> anyway, I thought I had enough for a full suit of iron. I may have gotten a little overzealous making all of these iron pickaxes and sword. Should have uh, prioritized iron armor, but uh, that's what you get for being a sucker, I suppose. But with that, well, let's go carefully, that is. Look for more. Totally almost forgot to make the most OP item in all of Minecraft, and that is, of course, the shield. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, shield's already coming in handy here. Oh, <laughs> uh, where did you come from, buddy? Did you know that I'm just an OP elf now? That's right, you don't mess with this. Skeleton, you wanna play with my shield? Hey, that's right. That's right, Scar's got a shield. Oh, OP shield, that's right. OP shields are unstoppable. Here's another opportunity to take our boat and swim on down. I should have checked before I jumped. Oh, we could have landed in lava and that would have been really bad. Next time we check before we jump. Hey, that's my boat. How may I serve you gentlemen here at the Scarred Burgers drive through We got fries, shakes, and hamburgers. Oh my gosh! Oh, my crafting bench! Okay, okay, all right. There is like three zombies on the other side of this wall. Oh, there was. The creeper killed them all. Thank you, creeper! Ha! Huh. Anyway, look, full set of iron armor. Oh, beautiful diamonds! Oh, our very first diamonds. Oh, and it's, it's literally a single diamond, but at least we picked it up this time. Oh my gosh, we are on a roll with our diamonds. Oh my gosh, we've got even more tucked in here. Oh, whoa, whoa, surprise spawner. <laughs> Hello there, sir. I am here to loot and pillage and plunder your treasures. Ooh, a name tag. Oh, oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone, spider. Oh, guide me to the diamond spider. Oh, oh, OP shield, save me. <laughs> Oh man, you gotta admit, come on. The the shields are a little OP. We've got ourselves one massive booty that we need to protect at all costs. Like, look at this, we've got diamonds, we've got redstone, the blue beans, we've got iron, we've got copper, we have a vibe disc, crystals to make spy glasses, horse armor, gold, and our life. That's right, we haven't died, surprisingly. So, yeah, somehow we need to get out of here with our booty intact. We're taking the express elevator out of this cave. Okay, 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 we're gonna drown, we're gonna drown. Yep, 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 break, break, break. Come on, come on, break. I've got a booty to save. Oh no, oh, no. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, 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 we're gonna get this. We got this, we got this. Oh, oh man, oh man. Oh, that was so close. Oh, wow. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Oh, we have done it. Beautiful skies, sunshine. Ooh, more copper. Wow, that looks like monster teeth. Look at this, home sweet home, and we still have our massive booty to show for it. Will you look at that? It's a wild green. Great, hey, come back here. Come back here. Great, I saw you from the distance, and I wanted to come and show you my booty. Oh, well, I was, I was going to show you my looty. Oh, well, look at this. Look look at how much I got from the cave because I received a message from you being a little bit braggadocious about your booty. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can take the spyglass. It is for you. It's a nice booty, but it's no looty. <laughs> it's no looty? Well, can I see your looty? You saw my booty. Now, what what you got to bear in mind, Scar, is okay. that I didn't, I didn't enter a cave at any point. This is simply from surface mining really so over here green's looty it's in all form this oh. is one trip yeah there's no diamonds but look at that no <laughs> you can't trade your booty for my looty 
<laughs> oh, that is that that is rather funny. But anyway, I did get you a spyglass. I totally got you a spyglass. Look at that. Look at that spyglass. Thank you. Dude. Me too. Dude, everyone's built up some amazing things around here. There's like a bird and there's a there's a crazy man selling pies. It's wild around yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> you know uh, what I got? I got a bunch of chests and some fish. Dude, I have I have a six by six wheat farm. That's about all I got. We're, we are balling. All right, it is now time to make our dreams of an elven tree kingdom come to life. And I have been going back and forth, trying to find the perfect place to build. Now, I did think about building up at the top of the mountain, but I thought I'd stay in the hustle and bustle of the community area. And while I pick the most inaccessible place imaginable. Look at this, we got stone and a ravine, but we're gonna terraform it up into our liking and make this area absolutely amazing. But this is gonna require a ton of resources and i mean a ton of resources so we need a lot of iron to create shears we need axes to get all of the oak wood for this luckily enough corralis the amazing man he is made an enchanter setup for us to use great success here at the enchanter take a look at all these shiny things now we've got some shovels for our terraforming our armor was slightly less successful a lot of fire protection so if we uh, catch ourselves on fire we will be fully protected um we've got a decent pickaxe and a super pickaxe which i'm super happy about and we've got a good axe now we have two more diamonds and you might be wondering what we should do with those and that would be a hoe. This is exciting. I just messaged Doc because he has a full villager trading hall full of magic books. And I asked maybe if I could have a couple for my super hoe. And he said, meet me at the Helping Hermit's Tent. So let's go. Ah, it is a beautiful, beautiful Doc. Are you going to fight some bulls? <laughs> I am. And I want this to be known from the highest hilltop of a hermitcraft. I am a luscious elf. Oh, okay. I thought you were a matador. Okay. Like, I am know. not a mattress store. I am a luscious <laughs> elf. And look at the ears, Doc. Look at the ears. Look at those ears. Wait, let me, let me. Would you like to put your hand through it? It's flowing. Mm. It's amazing, isn't I'm it? I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I'm getting older. Hair gets thinner, you know. <laughs> well, I'm trying. I'm jealous of all this this blue aqua shiny business you have here. This is very beautiful. The villagers are, are good here. Here, here. Oh, <gasps> you have, you have. Oh my gosh, you have it, sweet dude. This is amazing. I'm gonna be able to fully enchant Maho. What? Maho. I'm making a super hoe. That was very, very nice of Doc to give us that. Will he die before he gets to us? That is the question. What do you think? Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my good armor? Where's my good armor? Okay, 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 okay. We will definitely not die by fire with this armor on. <laughs> oh no, I stole the cave spider farm sword. Returned. So, now that we have our enchanted hoe, it's time to make it into a super hoe by netherriding it. So that means we've got to go to the nether. Also, I don't even have a shelter yet. I literally live in a field, but I'm going to get netherite anyway. Look, right there. I wasn't lying. I live in a field. <laughs> All right, so we've got a netherite base camp set up here. So yeah, I'm nervous. So let's get going. So we're going to put our bed here and then we're going to blow it up. So let's set our spawn. I'm really nervous, as you can tell. <laughs> so we're going to place our bed there and then we stand right here. Do I need a shield? I may need a shield. Do I need a shield? OK, it's a really far walk back, so we're not going to use a shield. So bed down, safety block here okay safety blocks there Ooh, oh, okay okay we're safe okay we're safe wow voice got a little high wow let's set our spawn and let's get ourselves some nether oh no i didn't all right and welcome to the nether and we've got ourselves a bit of a base camp for our netherite extraction here and everything is going very very well we've got some beds now made up i'm not sure why i have signs in my inventory let's throw those away and let's start chopping the wall now i have um never done this before everything is going to go according to plan as i am a expert in such things okay here we go 
Yo, oh, okay, okay, we're alive. We're alive. We're alive. Okay, check for check for Cinnabons as Cub would call them. Okay, no such luck. <laughs> no such luck. We shall cry as we bridge over. All right, here we go again. Oh, look at this. I am a true expert at this. First time with the beds, by the way. And no deaths. Nope, nothing. This might be a while. Bye. Oh, oh, that's surprise. <laughs> that is surprise netherite. Oh, the best kind of surprise. Oh, this is amazing. Now, I think we need a diamond pickaxe to get this. <gasps> two of them can we get three anyway we need two more after this and then we've got our hoe so i'm gonna go back and get a diamond pickaxe and then blast a little bit more here got myself a diamond pickaxe and i do believe we have enough of the netherite paper things to make a netherite ingot which i am super happy about also we have the worst luck as hermitcraft finding a decent nether spawn this is the worst one two oh don't don't burn don't burn three four and five for good measure now we need to safely get our netherite home <laughs> this is scary don't mind me i'm just uh randomly on fire apparently this was a lot of work there it is our first ingot how to do this oh we need the hoe <laughs> there we go grab that and bam we've got ourselves a nether right hoe yes look at this look at this this is what i'm talking about look at that speed look at that precision look at this just unlimited speed the unlimited power of this fully operational nether right hoe <laughs> ah we are unstoppable Okay, I calmed down a little bit there. <laughs> it was a lot of work to get to this point. Now that we have our hoe, we can now go on a massive resource grind to get all the leaves that we ever dreamed of to create our elven kingdom. That was quite the grind. We've got our dirt, we've got our leaves, our oak wood, we even have beehives and a whole, whole lot more to make our dream of an elven community come to fruition. Now, this would not have been possible without, of course, the uh, netherite hoe because this thing has like 2,000 durability and I think we repaired it maybe four or five times. This, this made the difference in getting this all done. Also have some new enchanted things. We have a shovel with silk touch so we can get grass. That'll make terraforming easier. And I repaired my ax for additional tree chopping because we'll probably need more wood. And yeah, so the plan here is to build, as I said, a giant tree for our starter base. And then we build our base from within and Whenever life's hard, I sometimes kind of go back to things that I find comfort in, and that is organics, trees, landscaping, and life's been super hard, so we're going to make a super, super awesome tree. <laughs> super big tree, that is, and I think it'll be worthy of an elven community. So with that, let's make this a reality. By the way, thank you for being so amazing. I was grinding for hours on end just thinking about how appreciative I am of you for you guys watching the videos and coming out to the streams and it, 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 I am the luckiest person in the world. I just want to thank you guys so much for that. Um, I don't know, a bit emotional just thinking about what we've created together, the community and just how amazing you guys are. And I uh, just want to say thank you. And I have a question for you. How long have you been watching my videos? In the comments, it doesn't matter if you just started watching today or if you've been watching for 10 years. I want to know because each and every one of you are amazing. Now this is a tree worthy of an elf and I am super, super happy with it. It's not 100% done. There's a ton of little tweaks here and there to make, but overall I am quite happy with kind of the fun organic nature of it. And obviously I got carried away with the size, but I had a blast doing it and it was super relaxing and a bit of an escape. Apparently there was a creeper here. Anyway, this is uh, a mess. So let me clean off the modern art sculpture and let's look at it in all of its glory. By the way, thank you, Doc, so much for giving us these shoes that have definitely saved us from falling and dying on this tree build. The super scar oak tree is now cleared of its scaffolding, looking absolutely amazing. And this goes in a long 
catalog of super oaks that we have made way back in 2012, Hermitcraft season four, Hermitcraft season six. Do you remember that tree with the cloud and all that stuff? Absolutely amazing. But this one might be my favorite. It's got a lot of detail, a lot of character in it. And that's what I love about oak trees in general is they have a lot of character. They're very old trees, lots of cool shapes and things along those lines. But I see this as also a blank slate. We can terraform it. We can add buildings on the exterior, hang the things from the canopy and for the interior my gosh you know we can add our survival base we can add a shop to it there's so much to do but i'm also absolutely terrified because there's always something lurking in a corner but as you can see there's a <gasps> yep 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 it was a green man it was a green man oh my gosh <laughs> oh man that's <laughs> i was like was that a green man i don't know if it was but it was in the end wow but anyway guys Thank you so much for the support lately. It has just meant so much to me. And I apologize this video didn't get out with everyone else's videos. This video took like 26 hours in game time to complete. So uh, it's taken a really, really long time. And uh, I just hope the end result here is something you guys are excited about and are excited about season nine. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch videos. And if you believe the video is heard rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't subscribe because you may just become scarred for life.